Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, it's Dr. Buck again. And, and uh, I had another question about um, getting into med school. And if you did not, uh, if you don't have the prereqs to get into med school. So basically, you have to do a bunch of science courses in college in order to, you know, know, you know take the MCAT, number one, um, and know some science uh, before you start doing your medical school classes. So physical chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, uh, biology, obviously, things like that. And I can't remember exactly how many credits there are, but there's probably, you know, close to two years of classes that you have to take. So the question I have from this person was, um, you know, I'm almost done with college, but I don't have any of the prerequisites. And if I go back to school, or if I take the prereqs, it's going to cost me another two years. And so what else can I do? Um, so, so this is an interesting question because what, you know, the problem is, is that, uh, you know, <laughs> we, we look for a quick kind of answer a lot of times and uh, there's no quick answer for this. Uh, unfortunately, if you decide, uh, this person was in art, I think they went into art, art major or something like that. Um, and now they're going to go back. They're trying to decide to go back. If you decide you want to go to med school and you are almost done with college or you finish college, you need to go back. Uh, and that's what you want to do. Make sure you want to do that first. But if you do, uh, just do it. And, you know, I don't think you should worry about having, you know, two more years, taking two more years. I actually took five years in college. Okay. I took a year off. Uh, actually, I took a couple years off. I uh, worked in the hospital for a year, and then I studied for the MCAT for a year, and then I applied to school, and then and I got into school. So my timeline was um, way late, and I finished way late, but I finished. Um, I graduated high school in '92. I finished college in '96 or '97, actually '97. And I started med school in 99. So that's a long way off of the, the normal. Um, I also took a year off in between uh, second year and third year in med school to study for the USMLEs because I knew I had no chance if I didn't do really good. Um, and then I took a year and I did a, a research year in my residency. So I finished at 35. So I think if you're if you're sitting there going, well, geez, I don't want to add a couple more years on, it's not that big of a deal, a couple years, um, you know, to, to get to where you want to go. And there's really, you know, in medicine or anything, anything worth it, you can't do it quick. It's not a quick fix. Um, it takes time, you know, it's a stupid saying, but Rome was not built in a day, right? You can't, you can't build this in a day either. You can't even build it. You can hardly build it in a decade. So anything worth doing, <laughs> you know, is worth putting the time in. So that's my two cents for that. Um, I hope that helps some people. And um, I'm sitting in the airport because I'm going to go. I'm flying to Florida, to Jacksonville, to work for uh, 10 days. I'm doing 10 days and nights. Um, so it should be interesting. Summertime, Florida, nighttime, weekends, two weekends. Should have some, some good trauma. So. I'm excited about that. Anyway, you guys uh, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, comment in the uh, space below or put your questions in there if you have anything or I'll get back to you and share it and subscribe if you can. All right, take care.